Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to update XBMC on your Amazon Fire TV without losing your data. First of all, you want to make sure you have XBMC installed. Check out my video in the description where I show you how to do that on a Mac. I will now navigate to XBMC so I can show you my current configuration. As you can see, I am running XBMC 13.0. This should be your starting point for running XBMC on your Amazon Fire TV. If you are currently running any of the betas, this video will help you update to the official without losing anything. If you already have the official XBMC 13.0, you can use these instructions to update to any betas without losing anything. And last but not least, if you are on the latest beta, you can use these instructions for any future releases. Here are some of the add-ons I have installed currently. These are some of the directories found under File Manager. And here's the system info. Once you have XBMC installed, you want to make sure ADB debugging is enabled in case you turned it off. Next, you want to write down the IP address. In most cases, it will be the same as the one we used to install XBMC. That is it for the Fire TV part. You can now leave it alone and move on to a computer. On the computer, you want to navigate to the wiki page in the description. Here, you will find all the updates about XBMC for the, app for the Fire TV. We have the official release as well as a newer 13.1 beta. That's the one I'm going to be using for this video. So you can go ahead and download the one you need. Again, make sure it is newer than what you already have. Along with the APK file, you also need the Android SDK software. The APK file is right there below the SDK folder. So now you want to open that folder, open the SDK folder, then open the platform tools folder and right click on ADB, select get info and copy everything that is next to where. That is the location of the file. Now you want to open up terminal and paste what we just copied, but that is not all. You want to type forward slash adb greater than symbol adb space kill dash server. Hit return and now hit command v again forward slash adb greater than symbol adb space start dash server hit return then one more time command v forward slash adb greater than symbol adb space connect space the ip address of your device Hit return. Now for the last time, hit command V, forward slash ADB, greater than symbol ADB, space, install, space, minus R, space. Now you want to copy the location of your APK file. You can do this by right clicking on it, getting info, and copying everything under where. Next, write forward slash, followed by the file name of your APK file, as you can see here. Now you want to hit return and wait for it to finish. Once it is done, it will give you the transfer rate and all that good stuff. We are done with the computer. We can now head over to the Fire TV and see the results. 
navigate to the Applications folder, scroll down to XBMC, and select it. Immediately, you can tell that it says XBMC 13.1 Beta 1. If we open it up, you will be greeted with a first run. After the first run, you are now able to see all your content. As you can see here, my add-ons are there. If we go under File Manager, my directories are also there. And finally, if we go into System Information, it tells us that we are on 13.1 beta 1. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you found this information helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.